Today I'm gonna to show you how to boost your hand function using everyday objects I found in my junk drawer, paper clips. These exercises are meant for people in the final stage of hand recovery, so whether you have had a stroke, have another neurological condition, or you're recovering from surgery, these exercises are meant for you. The best thing about using everyday objects is that you can take it anywhere you go, making therapy possible in your home, in the car, or waiting at a doctor's office. It doesn't matter. Before we get started, don't forget to click the like button, leave us comments, or share the video. And if you don't want to miss any of the videos that we are releasing, click the subscription button or click the logo at any time. Okay, let's get started. If you have some of these large clips lying around, that's perfect. Hopefully you have them in different sizes because each size is a different resistance. Nonetheless, there's a few things that you can do with this type of paper clip. You can fold back the arms of the paper clip or push them straight. You can squeeze these types of paper clips to work strength. So you could use your whole hand or try a different grip, like a key grip. Or you can do individual fingers. Another thing you can do with paper clips is place them on the objects. So if you have a paper roll like this from toilet paper or from a paper towel, you can place the paper clips on the edge either holding the object while you do it with the other hand, or preferably, you place them with the hand that you need the most work. If you have a whole bunch of paper clips, you can sort them into piles. So I can pick one up. One, two, three. You can switch up the numbers, switch up the size, you can break them up into different sizes, it doesn't matter, challenge yourself. Another thing you can do with paper clips is place them onto objects like a pencil or a golf tee or maybe a string or a rope. For example, I thought of a pencil because it already has a point to make it a little easier for you to place it on there. Just put it on and then take it off. Or a golf tee. You can put it on and then put another one on and stack them up and then work on taking them off as well. Oh, I got two. Need to start over. One, two, three. Another thing you can do is work on different types of grasp with using the paper clips. So for instance, you have key grip, which is the thumb against the side of your index finger, like holding the key. Pick it up, put it down. Pick it up, put it down. Or you can use tip to tip, the very tips of your fingers, or the pads of your fingers. You could use a tripod like when you hold a pencil. You could use a whole hand grasp. Just try to get as many things as you can. Another thing you want to do is work on manipulating the objects in your hand. So let's say we've got some out in my hand. Let's try to bring them in and then work them around in my hand. Maybe just flipping them around, tossing them, twisting them. It doesn't matter. Just get those fingers moving to work on your coordination. Thanks for joining me in learning how to use everyday items to boost your hand recovery with the exercises that I just showed you. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button, leave us comments, or share the video with your family and friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you don't want to miss any of the videos that we're releasing. We hope that you are well on your way to recovery, and we're going to keep making resources to help you on your journey. Because with Sabo, there is no plateau in sight.